everyone, if you don't take anything else from this video, you need to have these three items in your crew bag. cannot explain i'm so much more excited to show you guys my updated what's in my tote bag video than i was about my rollerboard i just felt weird like recording it and that this tote bag is actually my life the rollerboard not so much but i keep this bad boy oh my gosh everything's in here this thing is so heavy but um i don't know why i can't really explain it it just to me this feels more like important than the rollerboard video <laughs> not that that one wasn't important but it's just like as a flight attendant you use your tote bag a lot more than your rollerboard because you just kind of put that in the bin and leave it up there and then don't even open it till the layover so your tote bag is like everything is in there so yeah um once again i don't keep a lock on my tote bag i always keep my tote bag close to me underneath a seat or underneath um the seat like right by my jump seat or just somewhere that i can easily access it because i go in it quite often on flights okay so i tried to look it up but i don't know like the size of this one this is just like a standard size uh stand up uh there's the front there's this little thing on the side and then there's this little side so i feel like i should scoot closer <laughs> now to show you guys what's in this bag in this i'll just go ahead and talk about this in this side pocket this is all that's ever in here i keep an unlimited supply of these um of these gummies oh my gosh y'all these are the best things ever so i get they're overpriced i will say this they cost too much but they're so good and i'm obsessed with them they're from starbucks and they are the pomegranate and nectarine this brand um what's it called tori and howard i'm here for this like these are so good but Okay, so I wanted to finish eating it and like not be smacking on camera. So yes, in this little pocket, I don't have anything else in here but these gummies. And I go to Starbucks. I mean, there's always one in the airport somewhere. So I like once it's getting low, I always go back and get more. They're like $5 a bag or something crazy. But they're so good. And they're like no GMO and like supposed to be healthy gummies. So whatever. Um, on this side, and this is the only bag tag that I have on this bag now. I actually used to have... Um, and a different tag on here that had my phone number, um, my first name, my first and last name, and my address on it. And then I had a ramp guy who, like, saw my bags or something, and he actually had texted me and was like, I know this is weird, but I got your number off your bag, and I was just wondering if you wanted to, like, hang out or something. And I just kind of was like, I mean, it wasn't, he, it wasn't like creepy, but still it just made me be like, okay. Uh, so now I only keep this, um, this one on here. I actually do still have my phone number on it, but it's like, if, if, the, if anything happened with a bag, you know, I need to be able to get contacted. So, you know, it is what it is. Okay. So yes, I have my little princess tag on here. I absolutely love this tag. Bought it in the cruise store. Um, then in this back section, it has a little zipper. I actually really like this. I just feel like it's very convenient to have this little, little back um, pocket. I have um, all my mail, which I don't really need to show this. It's not really that interesting. But I keep a magazine for those flights where um, it's just too much. There's nothing to do, like literally nothing. Everyone's been taken care of gotta have some good reading material so i have the new vanity fair that some um another co-worker gave me and then i have like all my mail that i've gone through or like important papers and stuff that i just haven't taken home yet i'll stick all this back in this back section and then also um like my little book for cq i have that in there um my little cq study guide got that in the mail not too long ago so yeah, that's all that I keep in this back section. Ooh. Okay, so when you open the bag, which I don't know if this is like a weird angle to show. I feel like it's not for this part. Um, when I open the top of the bag, I have this. 
And this is honestly one of the best things that I think I've ever bought as a crew member. Everyone, go get these. If, when you become crew, get this. So what it is, um, I don't actually know if I face it this way or if I face it this way. If you can tell, it says crew. It's pretty obvious. And it used to be completely pink on both sides but it's just like faded on this one but what it is it's a metal tag and i have I actually have one in the, my tote bag and one in my roller board as well um it was it had fallen down in the zipper but whenever your bag passes through security like through the little machines this shows up in their little whatever it's called and then they can automatically see it's a crew bag because of the metal and then also this is just like a random tea bag i normally have more tea in here but i'm running low i need to get some more so yeah i just keep that in this top zipper section because it's easy to get to i mean there's times where i'll have this under the thing and i just need a tea like need tea and i can reach for it and not even have to think about it because i just know that that's all that's up here okay so i'm trying to think if i should show it like this or if I should move the camera. I feel like it's fine. It's okay like this. I'll scoot back a little bit. Um, so in the, in the top section, I don't normally have my shoes in this bag, but just because I recently lost my onboard shoes, shocker, um, I had to stick it in this bag. Normally I would have like a shoe bag, but I just have like one of our trash bags off the flight. And I keep my onboard shoes and my um, concourse shoes in those. The reason why I do that is just because it, I just want to have my shoes like in a bag because I feel like I don't want it to like necessarily get on anything and then that bag, it's hard to miss so it's just easy for me to throw my shoes in there when I'm about to go back in the airport versus whenever I come on the plane. So I just keep them in that bag. Okay, I have this sweater. <laughs> um, I actually, it's just this black plain sweater that I have with me because I get freezing so I just have like a little sweater that I like to wear um I'm deadheading tomorrow so that's the reason why I have that black one we, ha we have a sweater a sweater that we can wear but I lost mine so I just keep that one with me um another thing I have this to me bag that I got whenever I went to London um they like give these out in first class but this this one just has I'll, I'll do a close up um, this just has like my makeup, my go-to makeup, so lip glosses. I'm testing out these Kylie lip kits right now, so, um, that, some eyeshadow and, uh, stuff like that. I just keep all that in this little convenient thing, because it's like a harder case, and I just find it so easy to, to use this and then keep everything together. So just keep that in there. I also have this little to me. You know, this isn't sponsored by Toomey. How cool would it be if I, if I like, had a company sponsor me? That would be awesome. But um, this is another little, like, Toomey bag. Once again, got this whenever I went to London. Um, and they give these out in first class. And uh, it just has little, I mean, you guys can see. It just has all my cords in there. So my charging cord for my camera, my vlog camera, my iPhone, my iWatch, my Kindle. It all fits in this little bag. And it's just so easy to go to this. Because I don't like to have my, my um, what is it, my iPhone charger just like out. And, and I don't know, I just keep it in here. And then also I have like a backup charger too. So it's just nice to have like a, a section of um, with all your cords in it because it makes it more convenient just to have it all in one place. I always bring an extra gray bag with me um, just for my layover. Actually, we'll put that. Oh, it went behind the thing. <laughs> Um, yeah, I just always bring a gray bag with me because I like to put all the trash in there instead of using the little mini tiny trash trash cans that they have in the hotels that you can hardly fit anything in. Um, so I have that. Uh, I have this perfume. I honestly don't know where I got this. I don't even know why I'm smelling it because I know what it smells like, but vloggers always tend to do that. So um, it's just this perfume that has no name on it. Literally, it smells so good though. Uh, and then I have my keys, my car keys, um, I don't even know, this is interesting, I feel like it's not, but I'll say it anyway. Um, I got this, I got her when I went to Dubai, her name's Jasmine, like off Aladdin, look how cute. Um, I don't know it's focusing. I have a Pikachu and a Pokeball. These have been on my keychain before Pokemon Go, so let me set the record straight. I have been deep into Pokemon since before the craze came back around. 
Um, I got this one, let's see. Just, it just says Ashley on it. I got that whenever I was in Los Angeles just because it's like the little signs. Your name on it and then i have this coca-cola one it i got it at the coca-cola museum in atlanta but i actually got this before i ever was a flight attendant i went out there for spring break one year when i was in college and i got that it's so crazy um then i have this a that i got in new york when i went to new york with my best friend a couple years ago and then i have this little statue that's like for good luck this little man i call him tiki <laughs> um and I don't know if it's focused or not. I can't tell. But I got this whenever I was in Hawaii. Those are my keys. Key, um, key tour. Not key tour. Uh, well, whatever. I also keep this notepad, uh, just in this like little section. There's like a little side section in the back, and just in case I would write, I need to write something down. And then I have my little Sky Pro case that I keep my device in that we use for flights. And let's see, is there anything else in here? Oh, I have these in here, not that it really matters. There's another little zipper section and I just have like room keys. Just room keys from random hotels. Okay, so that's everything that's in like the main big section of my bag. And then I have this little middle section. And to me, the middle section of my bag is the most important. All right, so the middle section of my bag has two zippers, um, one at the front and then one at the back. And in the back section, I keep headphones always. I do not go anywhere without headphones, okay? I'm not here for it, okay? I, I have to have these, like, have to have these. I have had a few trips where I've gone off and forgotten my headphones. Not good. I need to have my music in. I need to be in my own zone. I don't need, I don't need this to, I just need my headphones. Okay, I actually, normally I always, I don't know if you all have seen this, I, I think I posted a picture of it on my Instagram, but I have my Tiffany's bracelet that my dad gave me, and it actually broke. Um, it caught on a cart. I was so mad when this happened too. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see this. Um, but the end piece right here, this hook that's supposed to go to the end of the bracelet, caught in this little like notch in one of the carts and then I had gone to do something and you know move my hand really quickly and it pulled it back so I'm going to take it to Tiffany's and get it fixed um I actually haven't told him that it's broken but um I keep extra forks and knives the plastic forks off the flight always have these with me because you always need those because you're always having to eat on the go let me tell you I never knew that that was the deal when I signed up for this job eating in behind the gate uh the gatehouse eating on the plane eating you just have to eat when you, when you can running in between fights sitting in the in the concourse eating in the lounge you just like you have to have plastic silverware with you at all times because your life is just on the go snacks and my go-to things for this flight i actually just put this i don't always fly with this but i just put this in here um it's this little mug and look at it it's it looks like a camera lens how cute sandra my line sister got this for me and i just love it so much so um yeah it's just a cup but i just love the fact that it looks like a lens like vlog life so I have that in my bag. I have Ambisol in here just because I was having tooth pain. I don't really need this now. Oh, this is actually Ordo. Um, but yeah, keep that in here. And then Motrin. I, I keep a big bottle of Motrin with me just because my aunt gave this to me to keep in my bag. And there's, I mean, there's a lot in here. It's 225 caplets. I think she got this size at Sam's. But I take Motrin for everything. I don't believe in like what is it what's that other one a leave or bear that nothing works for me only much it does so if i have like a headache or cramps or something I'll, I'll take that okay i don't actually like this um but it's in my bag right now just because i was trying it out my aunt's best friend miss hines uh, I don't, she probably won't well she won't see this but she got me this fold the folders french vanilla flavor and i don't like it it's not that good um i prefer coffee made french vanilla but it's in my bag because you know she gave it to me and then i have this what is this a flight attendant gave this to me i still haven't used it it's called xm plus extreme 
um, energy. It's supposed to be, you're supposed to mix it with water and it's supposed to give you energy. I've, I haven't used it. I probably will because I'm always tired. <laughs> and then I keep these in a little Ziploc bag and they're just all my snacks. These are some cashews, some popcorn, and a protein bar. And I just have them all in this little bag. There were brownies. I don't think that I'm healthy because I'm not. Um, there were homemade brownies in these, but as you can see, they're all gone. So I just put all my snacks in there because it makes it more convenient. Keep it. I like to, for everything to be like in little sections. So I always have these like little bags or little like, you know, zip, zip anything with zips that keeps things together. I'm all for that. So I like everything to be really organized. Um, then I also have oatmeal. Oh my goodness. I did not know this was still in here. This is a cookie. This is a double tree cookie that has been in my bag since what was that three trips ago. It, it was the same color as the oatmeal packet, so I just assumed it was oatmeal. It's not a brick. But yeah, I have Quaker's oatmeal packets with me all the time because I eat those for breakfast. I also will keep an extra pair. These are just like off a of flight, or maybe these are from a hotel, I can't remember. But I'll keep an extra pair or a few pairs off the of flights of headphones. Cause randomly I'll have people on other flights ask me for headphones on the ones that we don't have screens on. And so sometimes I can go in my bag and just give them those. Um, so yeah, that's everything in the middle section. Oh, I didn't even tell you guys what was on this, what was inside of this pocket with the, these, these are crucial, okay? Everyone, if you don't take anything else from this video, you need to have these three items in your crew bags. Number one, hand sanitizer. Self-explanatory. My particular hand sanitizer of choice at the moment is Dazzling Diamond. Dazzling Diamonds from Bath and Body Works. Love these sizes, by the way. They're just like the perfect little, like, tiny size. Um, essential item number two lotion okay i don't know about you guys but your girl gets ashy my hands get ashy just from using the carts and like i don't know my hands just I, my skin gets so dry so i have to have lotion because i do not like for my hands to be dry um so this one is pretty as a peach bath and body works uh the hands all this is from bath and body works and then this mahogany teak wood is the best matter of fact i'm about to spray it right now Mm. this is the best smelling stuff on the face of the earth if not the face of the earth it's for sure the best smelling stuff that is at bath and body works i have the candles i wish they would make a lotion it reminds me so 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 much because i used to work at abercrombie um of abercrombie fierce the way the store smells so this is just mahogany teak wood and when people go in the bathroom and blow up the bathroom on on planes which I don't understand for the life of me. There are 15,000 bathrooms in the terminal. Why do you come on the plane and then decide to go to the bathroom? I don't get it. I never get why people do that. But I always keep spray on me for the bathrooms because I'm not the one. So my last little section at the front of the back is this little section. Um, in here, I used to have um, my license in here, but I don't anymore. I just keep sunglasses. A pair for when I'm feeling sassy and a pair for when I'm feeling cool. So I have two pairs of sunglasses in this section. I don't actually know what's supposed to be in here, but that's what I keep in there. Um, and then my collection assortment, can you guys see, of pins? Because <laughs> look, I always have like a little pin. I wear the vest a lot, so I'll put a pin down in the pocket or a couple. And then people will ask to on flights for them. And I, I also keep a Sharpie on me. And initially, I just had this in there to mark my water bottles. Uh, I always like write Ash or Ashley or something on my crew bottle just so no one gets it confused for someone else's. But um, yeah, a permanent marker that comes in handy for all kinds of stuff. And so this little section right here, um, I will keep my $1 bills for the drivers. I don't I actually just lost my wallet, so I don't have any ones in there right now. But um, I have these wings. Um, a pilot gave me his wings. So I keep those and I just think that it, it's, they're just like really nice. So I just keep those in my bag. This middle section, this section is kind of, it's kind of chunky. I need to clean this up. I have... Um, lip gloss i just had this one in there because it was the one i was trying out today uh from kylie's line 
True Brown. I have my passport. Can't go anywhere without that because I'm a flight attendant. Um, so this little case that I have it in, I just got on Amazon for, it was like $2. Um, I have my Sky Pro in this section just because it's easy for me to reach for. Um, I have the little like case that it comes in, but I just leave it in the back. And then, uh, you know, I just grab this when I'm about to go ahead and do the service to ring people's stuff up and everything. Ooh. Oops. I also have my badge, which I will put on. I actually will leave that out because I'll need that for in the morning. But yeah, I just always, once the flight is over and everything's done, I don't like to just, I hate, I don't know if it's just me. I hate wearing my badge. Like, I do not like feeling it around my neck. I don't like the lanyard. I want to switch and get one of the Brighton ones, the um, the little silver chains that a lot of flight attendants wear, but I haven't yet. Um, but I'm not a fan of wearing my badge. So as soon as the flight is over and you know we don't have to do wear it anymore, I take mine off and I stick it in my bag. I also have a lip balm, which I'm gonna use in my bag now. Hmm. Flying dries out your lips too, so. Um, I have this one, and then there's another one in my toiletry bag that I'll show. But I just, I put this particular one in my bag in the section because it's one of these, the, what are these called? EOS? I don't know if it's EOS or EOS, but I like this one because you can't miss it. It's easy to grab for. Um, yeah, that's it. Then there's this little, little mini zipper that's in the front. And, oh, I didn't mean to have this in there. This is actually my watch. <laughs> have to wear that so I, I had taken it off I don't even know why I took it off to be honest but I had taken it off and just put it in my bag I have these coupons that I, was, I need to ring up on my Sky Pro uh, sometimes people give us drink coupons uh, for their drinks so I had these to like ring up they're not for me <laughs> and then I'll keep ponytail holders in the middle section just in case mine breaks i had that <sighs> had to save the best thing for last this is the most important thing in this bag okay okay so this is my personal no-go item as a flight attendant we have items we can't leave without like if i'm working and i'm on duty i cannot report without my watch i have to have my watch on it's essential well, I have my own personal item, and it is this little bad boy right here. Okay, this is a can ring. And for any girls out there who get their nails done or who have long nails, get this. It will seriously save your life. Okay, this. Can you see it? <laughs> this is my can ring, and it's a lovely gold color. <laughs> But this is a this is a small one I bought this. Oh, what's it? There it goes. Um, this is the size small that I bought on. Oh, I bought this at Crew Outfitters too. I bought I pretty much buy everything at Crew Outfitters. They have they have it all. But um, what you do is like when you're doing the can opening it, it just hooks right in the little section and you pull it back. Because I I was breaking nails and messing my nails up, and I'm not. I can't fly without my nails not being done. I just can't. So this makes it so easy. I just go open, you know, open the Sprite, open the Diet Coke, open everything. And so when I'm out there, boop, 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 makes it so much easier. I don't have to worry about my nails. It's just the best thing ever. And then it fits on my finger like so conveniently. So get one of these. It will change your life. And actually, now that I think about it, um, Jamila, I don't know if she'll see this, but one of my co-workers when I was mini base, she was the one who told me about this and I got this and it seriously changed my life. So thank you, Jamila, for putting me on. So yes, <laughs> that is everything that is in my tote bag. I feel like this video was a lot longer than I expected it to be, but I use this so much. Like as a as a flight attendant, this bag is so essential to me. Um, now, I have the big one, but I have seen flight attendants with shorter or like smaller tote bags. Um, that This is just the one that works for me. I used to think that it was too heavy because even with everything out of it, the bag could, does have some weight to it. But now I'm so used to it because I use... I use it so frequently so um yeah that's that's what's in my tote bag so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions leave them down below um and i'll see you in my next one bye oh 
oh you guys i almost forgot to mention this was in my tote bag and i did not show it because i had put it in the refrigerator this ladies and gentlemen is the fruit and cheese plate i don't know if you've ever flown with us but get this it changes your life everyone loves it also i didn't show this either but you all probably already know this um on top of my bag whenever it's hooked to my roller board crew water always 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 have one of those or two of those sometimes with me <laughs> 